Hi, Timothy Hogan here. Uh, today I'm going to take you on a journey of downtown Denver. Uh, I'm going to do a three-part series with you, exploring the esoteric landmarks and monuments that are in downtown Denver. Most people don't know that downtown Denver, the, uh, the entire layout of downtown Denver is actually uh, the, the river, which is uh, Cherry Creek, and the Platte River is what shapes downtown Denver, but it also causes it to form a, if you were to view it from the air, it, 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 it forms downtown structured and the, the roads bend to form a three, four, five triangle of Pythagoras. And within this three, four, five triangle, there's several different um, esoteric monuments, uh, Masonic curiosities, as well as other fraternal bodies. Uh, so what we're going to do today is we're going to, I'm going to take you on a journey uh, to, to, in part one, we're going to look at the clock tower uh, that's at the heart of downtown Denver, as well as the Capitol building, the, uh, one of the Masonic lodges, and, um, we're going to look at, uh, you know, some of the uh, Masonic-related things that are within that area. Then on part two, we'll be doing a second video. Uh, and, and part two, we'll be covering some of the more items that are downtown, including at Civic Center Park, uh, this, the city and county building of Denver, um, as well as the U.S. Mint that's in Denver, all within this area. And then finally, part three, we'll be going out to Denver International Airport, and I'll be showing you some of the lesser-known mysteries out there at the Denver International Airport area, as well as in Aurora, Colorado, which is borders Denver. And there's some more pretty cool esoteric monuments and... Um, landmarks, which uh, anyone who has an eye for such things will, will appreciate. So come with me on to this journey uh, for this video. Uh, be sure to, we'll, we'll, part, we'll post part one, and then uh, this will be followed by uh, part two at a later date, and then part three, um, where you get to see some cool mysteries. So come on with me. We'll start off at the clock tower that's on 16th Street Mall. Okay, so we're gonna I'm gonna show you some more parts of downtown Denver that have a Masonic association in the past. Uh, in particular, this is the Daniels and Fisher's Tower, which is a giant clock tower in the middle of downtown. And uh, it used to be, for a while, it was also uh, there's a department store called May DNF, uh, which stood for May Daniels and Fisher company and so there used to be a big department store here. Prior to that it was the Grand Lodge building for the Grand Lodge of Colorado. And there's still uh, if you look up here you'll see Hermes and Athena above the arch. Um, you know which were you know still the hallmarks from the old Grand Lodge. And then of course you see the cornerstone up there. Uh, and a keystone up there uh, from the arch. So this bottom part here, they, they recreated uh, it at one point in time. But uh, back in the early 1900s, this is the Grand Lodge in Colorado. So it's a tall building. We'll look at it from another angle so you can see the clock tower. But yep, so this is one of the, this is one of the landmarks. So this is the Masonic building in downtown Denver, which is on uh, 16th Street Mall in Malton. Uh, this is the entrance of the Masons. When the Grand Lodge moved from down the street, it moved to here. And then it moved from here down to Colorado Street. So if you look up here, you can see the, the architecture uh, with the square compasses, the pillars with the globes on them. Over here. This 
whole building actually burned down in the, the 80s. So what they did is they kept the outside of the building and then they rebuilt it from the inside. So now the lodges meet up on the top floor. We'll go around to the other side of it too so you can see that. This is the entrance for people going into the lodge meetings. There's lot, several lodges of people, including Denver 5, Union 7, Albert Pike. By the way, Albert Pike Lodge actually has uh, one of Lafayette's aprons, which is pretty cool. Whenever they hold their lodge meetings here, they put uh, the apron out on the floor. Alright, so this is the public entrance to the Masonic building. The Masonic building. Giant square encompasses uh, up here. Uh, there's all kinds of businesses in here. The businesses, the the lodge, Denver 5, which is one of the oldest lodges in Denver, owns the building and then they rent out the bottom parts to a bunch of businesses. Yeah, there it is. Alright, so this is the capital of Denver, it's the capital of Colorado, it's the capital building. Um, it's, uh, it's, you'll see it from a different angle. It's, it's covered in gold, it's real gold. It's, uh, that way because it was a minor state. But I also want to point out here on this light post, uh, the seal of Colorado. And you'll notice that there's an eye in the triangle on the seal. Uh, we're the only state in the United States that has an eye in a triangle on its state seal and it's because of the believed um, destiny of the state of Colorado. Um, it is destined eventually, according to some people, to eventually become the capital of the United States uh, after uh, Washington DC is flooded out for years ago. So uh, it'll all be moving. So anyhow, you'll notice here, I mean, other than the Great Seal of the United States where there's an eye on the triangle, the only other place that you see that is in the Colorado State Seal. And if you turn here, uh, if you look across the way, uh, you can see the, um, that's the court building across the way. They also have some city council meetings there. And the, um, to see the, the obelisk as well. And there used to be a statue right here, uh, but it was ripped down like, from you know, degenerates ripping down everything. So, uh, anyhow, here's, we'll go around to the side here and, so we can take a look at the cornerstone of the, of the building. So let's go this way. Here we are at the cornerstone of the Capitol building. This is the cornerstone right now. Uh, if you look over here, down here, this is actually a time capsule that was a uh, Masonic uh, time capsule that was laid uh, during the 100 year anniversary of the Capitol building. Uh, it was laid by the Grand Lodge of Colorado. See here it says, uh, dedicated by the most worshipful Grand Lodge, AF and AM of Colorado, August 4th, 1990. So, uh, again, just another one of these things. All of the government buildings in the area all have Masonic cornerstones. southeast corner of the Capitol building. You notice across the street here is the Scottish Rite Masonic Center. Uh, that's where a number of lodges meet, including the Denver Consistory. Uh, and uh, my lodge, East Denver Lodge, number 160. Uh, meets at this building. There's a beautiful auditorium there. We'll go take a look at that in a minute. Turn around here. 
can see the, uh, you know, the Capitol building. There's some uh, work being done on it right now to clean it up. You can see the gold dome up there. Let's go over to the consistory. Alright, so this is the uh, Denver Consistory. There's Colorado Consistory up here. There used to be two Scottish Rite Consistories in Denver. There was the Colorado Consistory, then there was the Rocky Mountain Consistory. They merged and formed the Denver Consistory. Now they're in this building, but you can see the Rose Cross up on top. And then over here you'll see the uh, part of the seal. Venetian in the uh, that, and then uh, first the doors. You see the and above here. You see the uh, double-headed eagle. If we walk over here, This is called the, uh, the Grand Encampment of the Scottish Rites. It's a map for those who understand it. Uh, you'll see there's also stained glass up there as a double headed eagle. Uh, and then there's a little uh, dedication over here by the Grand Lodge. And there's also government offices that meet in here. I'll show you the inside of that in another video.